Hello everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Ron from RJJ's Reactions and I'm here with Ren and the song is called Crucify Your Culture. Uh, we'll see what the lyrics are all about because Ren writes his own lyrics so we'll have a look at those after we listen to the song. Uh, just before we hit into the music, click on that subscribe button if you don't mind and uh, like the video if you do you'll have to listen before you know i guess and then, then click on the notification bell also also go to ren's channel i'll put the link in the description and make sure you subscribe there too all right let's go here we are crucify your culture uh ren always has such interesting videos and i guess that's supposed to be him there very scrawny legs there <laughs> Murderous mind, born into a murderous time where right or wrong is a blurred line, hard to define. For greed is poison the well. We all drink from the chalice, it's a long way down into the rabbit hole, Alice. Now I crucify your culture, burn down the altar. Religion of consumerism picks us up like vultures, takes us for punks. They say jump, we jump. It's the same if it's Bush or Obama or Trump. I'm not buying a super one, two, three party system. I rise against them, illusions of choice. Take our voice, or take my gold with the election system. Deficit represent nobody but your money, honey. How you keep them sweet, honey? Shepherd. Than the sheep on them. Someday they'll find a way to sell my views. Like they sold the concept of freedom to you. They sold the voice of Huxley, of Orwell, Guevara, Dalai Lama. Now they're all just a product to you. And now you care more about your new shoes. The loose screws and minds of politicians that abuse you. To shape you, break you. Consumerism breaks you until your thoughts are end you. They make you want to hate you. So you keep buying, buying, buying. Corporation buying, defying, fraudulent liars and burning empires. Tapping to the telephone wires and history fires. It glorifies and justifies our evil. It justifies the wars that rain destruction upon people. Every single human born equal. They treat you like an asset, not a human, man. It's see-through. Slavery through debt. You think that mortgage is to help you? Bill stacking high, killing dreams. Money maims you. Lion tames you. The land of the free, irony. A hierarchy, folks, education kills the fire in me. Still, I stand strong like two towers that were knocked down by greedy men's thirst for power and now greed. Greed plants a seed that will destroy us all if we suck on to greed. Fuck greed, silent I breathe. Burn money. Greed makes us bleed, makes us bleed, makes us bleed. Our political system is a farce. Democracy will not exist till actions speak louder than money. Wealth is a poison, honey. Another money making holiday for the Easter bunny. Advert suck out your soul, I drink Coca Cola. Lining up the pockets of the fat controller, selling fear. To the people, let it spread like a bowl of propaganda machine. Remember the dream, it's hopeless. Nikola Tesla, 1883. The DC current system fought against the AC. But not because the AC system wasn't any better. Because people don't like change when money's at the center. Move, let me enter from the epicenter. Poison parliamenter, who's the main contender? Oh, it's you, Mr. President. Evident that the counterintelligence is a hell of a prevalent. <laughs> Okay, very good. I didn't stop throughout the whole video. Uh, it wasn't a really long one anyway. Uh, I, I liked it, but it's too... I can't keep up with uh, all the lyrics popping up all over the place. Obviously, a rant against, uh, to some extent, democracy and the financial system and a lot of other things. <laughs> um, we'll have a look at the lyrics and I'll talk more specifically about them. I did like the sound of the song and the pace of the song. Um, you know, it was very well done. Um, they've modulated his voice somehow. I'm not sure what they're using there. Maybe some of you know. Uh, I don't know all the tools they use to do that, but uh, but that's fine. We know Ren can sing. The, it, it, we know his voice. His voice is amazing. So, you know, for different videos, you want to have different sounds. So that's, I'm fine with that. I'm good with that. Uh, particularly when I know that the singer can sing for real and Ren can just take a guitar and, and sing he doesn't he doesn't need anything else even but yeah really uh, well done and lots of imagery going on very quick you'd have to watch it multiple times to pick up on everything of course you've got the you've got the Trump there but <laughs> uh, but uh, you know it's, he's not just picking on him he's, he's picking on every he said Trump Obama and I don't know I forget there was a third one that he had the bush i think or somebody yeah uh but we're gonna find out because let's go look at the lyrics now crucify your culture by ren and ren writes his own lyrics uh, most of the time anyway and so here we go a murderous mind born into a murderous time where right or wrong it 
where right or wrong is a blurred line hard to define for greed has poisoned the well we all drink from the chalice it's a long way down into the rabbit hole alice now i crucify your culture so he's he's always very good um, with rhyming and and the, and the play on words and referencing other uh, movies stories etc uh, so of course alice in wonderland here going down the rabbit hole but he's talking about greed poisoning the well and hard to know uh, right or wrong uh, the lines get blurred he's blaming it on greed i think you can blame it on a number of things but that's certainly one of them now i crucify your culture burn down the altar religion of consumerism picks us off like vultures takes us for punks they say jump we jump it's the same if it's bush or obama or trump yeah okay so we those are the three i thought so um so he's not picking on any particular party or any particular um, person uh, or president. And um, he's probably picked the American presidents. So he's actually from the UK. So funny, he didn't use prime ministers uh, from there. But, uh, but of course, America is known as, uh, you know, the sort of money and en economic engine, I guess, of, of the world, so to speak. That's changing, but it's still true today. China hasn't quite caught up yet. Um, I'm not buying into a one, two, three party system. I rise against them. Illusions of choice take our voice. So take back your rigged election. Um, so there's some, some things I can't agree with Ren here. I often do agree with him, but I do have some, I think there was one other one where I had a little bit of a complaint. I have probably a little more of one with this one, um, but we'll see as we go on. It's very easy to rail against but where are the solutions? I'm not saying that he has to have them, and I realize it's just a song, but remember, I'm dissecting the lyrics. Uh, the, if the lyrics mean something, then they have to stand up to scrutiny a little bit too. And the fact is that uh, it's easy to complain. Uh, what do you do about it? What system is better than the system? And I think there are better systems probably, and I don't have the whole solution. I wish I did. <laughs> well, maybe I, maybe I'm glad I don't because it'd be such a... It'd be a horror show trying to get it out there, trying to make change, which I do agree with Ren on that point, that that's almost impossible because things get so ingrained. We get so caught up in what we're used to. It's very difficult to change, right? Um, but to just not buy into anything and want to destroy everything, I don't think that's a solution either. <laughs> I don't think that really works either. Uh, illusions of choice take our voice, so take back your rigged election. So illusions of choice, I sort of agree with that in many cases, though we're a little bit better off here in Canada with the number of choices we have. I think it could still be better, but uh, in the States you have two, really, uh, at least at the federal level. And that is, you know, and really, does it change when they get in there? And that's the question we have here in Canada. In other countries, I'm sure it's the same. Does it matter whether you vote uh, conservative or liberal or green or NDP or Bloc Québécois in Quebec here in Canada, you know, because when they get in there, they all do the same thing. That's not exactly true, but I think that's the sentiment. And, and sometimes it's kind of true. Uh, everyone gets uh, chewed up by, by the economy, basically, by the world economics now. Um, rigged election, yeah, that kind of goes into conspiracy theories. Generally, system deficit represent nobody but your money. Funny how you keep them sweet, honey, shepherd and sheep dummy. <laughs> Someday they'll find a way to sell my views like they sold the concept of freedom to you. Um, they sold the voice of Huxley, of Orwell, Guevara, Dalai Lama. Now we're all just a product to you. And now you care more about your new shoes than loose screws in the minds of politicians. Uh, that abuse truths to shape you and break you. Consumerism rapes you until your thoughts, they ain't you. They make you want to hate you. So there's something here that's true, obviously. Consumerism can, you know, it's a major issue. I've had issues with it for a long time. However, I buy things <laughs> just like Ren does um, and uh, all the rest of us. Uh, and we are all a part of that machine. We're all a part of, of what's going on. Um, so I, I don't know how you get yourself out of that and, and not. I don't want to live like they lived 100 years ago or 200 years ago. I, that, 
no thank you um, there there are th things uh, ways we grew up when I was a child that I don't want to go back to to be honest but <laughs> if we have to I guess you do but uh, yeah I don't know I don't know what the solution is to that uh, you know but just throwing everything away isn't the solution true enough there are some loose screws in minds of politicians and and there definitely is loose screws in my own mind and Ren would probably admit that about his own mind too. <laughs> so that's what I do like about him because I think in the other song, uh, the one thing that I liked was that he included himself. Actually, it was Sick Boy, one of them anyway, because he did include himself as he was also part of the problem because we're all in this problem. Uh, so I guess the idea is how do we all get out of it? How do we work toward finding a solution? Just ripping it down isn't the solution. Uh, so you keep buying, 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 corporation frying, defying fraudulent list liars and burning empires, tap into the telephone wires and history's biased. History's definitely biased, I have to agree with him there, because um, we generally get the history of the winners, right? We generally get the history of the powerful. Uh, we don't often get the history of uh, many other people, including women, the disenfranchised, and others, uh, we don't get that history generally. Once in a while we get a little bit. It glorifies and justifies our evil. It justifies the wars that rain destruction upon people. Every single human born equal, they treat you like an asset, not a human man. It's see-through slavery through debt. You think that mortgage is to help you? Yeah, it, debt it can make you into a slave. There's no doubt about it. And they definitely, there are things that, that corporations, banks, others do, the, even just society as a whole that kind of pushes you toward things that aren't necessarily going to help you and are a, in a way a kind of slavery. If you get in, indebted, I mean majorly indebted at least, it is a, a sort of slavery. You're just working to pay the bills, working to pay the bills, working to pay the bills. <laughs> you think that mortgage is to help you? Uh, no, probably n not. Although, if you're lucky enough to be able to afford a home, the value does increase. So there's, again, there's, it's not all bad, it's not all good. There's probably better ways of doing it. I think that's what he's saying. There's probably, you know, I think we do need to shift. We do need to find a better way. I don't know what it is, however, um, because some of the other solutions that I've heard, if you start breaking them down, they wouldn't work. Um, so I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, I think we do need to shift. We'll be forced into it uh, if things continue to go the way they are. Uh, maybe not in my lifetime, but they've already started talking about uh, some things that are going to be major shifts in terms of uh, the number of hours in the work week. And that's because AI is coming along and going to take uh, e even more jobs. And, and also, uh, population is going to be changing so there's a lot of things that are going to have to change somehow bill stacking high killing dreams money maims you lion tames you the land of the free irony <laughs> good play on words there yeah so are you really free well you're not really free if you're indebted i think is what he's trying to say um so it's ironic you know it's supposed to be the land of the free but a lot of people don't feel very free uh, a hierarchy, false education kills the fire in me. Um, still I stand strong like two towers. That's good. Um, yes, a false education. There is false education. There's no doubt about it. However, I hear a lot of people, believe me, I've done, I, I'm a tutor, as you know, and, and I'm a private educator, educational coach, I call myself often. And I if I had a dollar for every time I heard a student say, why do I need to learn this? I'm never going to use it. I would be able to retire a relatively wealthy man probably. <laughs> but, um, you know, education, learning, and even though you will forget a, most of what you learn probably, and you will not use a lot of what you learn. I don't use an enormous amount of what I've learned, even though I'm still in the education field. Lots of it I've forgotten. Was it not worth doing? No, it was definitely worth doing. Uh, it's very good to keep educating yourself. Now, you can educate yourself in many different ways. That doesn't necessarily mean going into debt in university or college. Uh, but if you need that piece of paper, if you need that diploma, which you often do, 
and that's the only way to do it. So that's probably more or less what he's talking about, um, you know, both in terms of the finance, but also in terms of you get a great education, but then you can't get a great job. And sometimes you're promised that and it doesn't happen. You sh they shouldn't promise that uh, if they can't deliver. Still, I stand strong like two towers <laughs> that were knocked down by greedy men's thirst for power. And now greed, greed plants the seed that will destroy us all. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's talking about the Twin Towers. It certainly sounds like he's talking about the Twin Towers. I'm not so sure that it was greedy man's thirst for power, but maybe. That's one way of looking at it. I would go another place, but I'm not going to because I always go there too often. So I'm going to avoid it for now since he didn't specifically say it and seems to be saying more about power rather than what I think it was about. Although power is part of it too. Not sure about greed in, in that particular case. Greed plants the seed that will destroy us all if we succumb to greed. Uh, F greed, silent I breathe, burn money. Greed makes us bleed, makes us bleed, makes us bleed. Our political system is a farce. Democracy will not exist till actions speak louder than money. Wealth is a poison, honey. Another money-making holiday for the Easter money. <laughs> Advert, suck out your soul. And sometimes that's true. Drink Coca-Cola. I do drink Coca-Cola, but not the real stuff. Lining up the pockets of the fat controller. When I say not the real stuff, it is actually real Coke, but it's like diet caffeine free. So you could almost call it fake Coke. You wonder what, why I spend the money even drinking that crap, but it's habit. Um, selling fear to the people. Let it spread like Ebola. Propaganda machine. American dream. It's hopeless. Uh, I don't think it's hopeless. I don't think it's hopeless. And it's not just in America either because it's, it's in many places in the world. There's a lot of things you can do yourself to help yourself and to, and to progress and to, and to do good and then hopefully help other people too. So yeah, you know, I kind of, I agree, but I kind of disagree a little bit too. I get it though. I get the whole idea of what the song is trying to do. Uh, propaganda machine. There's lots of those out there, including the conspiracy theorists, theories and theorists, including people who say the best thing would be is to tear it all down. Well, good luck with that. Uh, so that's why I'm I'm a bit cautionary here. Uh, Nikola Tesla, 1883, the DC current system fought against the AC, but not because the AC system wasn't any better, because people don't like change when money's at the center. Yeah, that's true. They try to protect what you have, right? But I I mean. We're all guilty of that, I think. It might be on a minuscule scale, but don't you want to protect what you own? Do you want someone to just come and take your, what you've worked so hard for? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some people are okay with that. Uh, um, I don't know. Sometimes I'm okay with that. I, long, long time ago, I used to I used to ride a bicycle, uh, you know, as an adult. I'm not talking as a child. And, and I where, where I used to live, it was parked outside, and I never had a lock for it. Never had a chain or a lock for it. And it would sometimes disappear and somebody would have borrowed it. And it always came back. And that was a strange thing. It always came back. And I did have people say to me, well, I don't, you should really put a lock on it. Somebody's going to steal your bike and say, eh, if they steal it, they needed it more than I did. I wasn't that worried about it. I didn't need it desperately. It wasn't my only mode of transportation. I had my feet. I uh, didn't have a car, but I had my feet and I walked to work and I walked to most places. Anyway, the bike was more for enjoyment than anything. And this happened for years and people would take it and it would come back and sometimes in a day, sometimes in a few hours, sometimes a couple of days, it would always come back. And then uh, I finally bought a chain for it when I came to where I live now because I didn't have one again. No one was borrowing at that point though. I was in a different place, different location. Finally I did because people kept saying, you got to get a chain, you got to get a lock, you got to get a lock. I got a lock a week or two later somebody cut the lock, stole the bike, and it never came back. <laughs> so, so much for the lock. <laughs> I don't know what you want to draw out of that story, but there you go. Probably more the location than actually anything else. But, but other things, I'm not going to just let people come and take away from me for no reason. Maybe some things that I don't care that much about, but other things I am going to protect. Um, Move, let me enter from the epicenter. Poison Parliament. Ah, who's the main contender? Oh, it's you, Mr. President. Evident that the counterintelligent is a hell of a prevalent. So, yeah, it's a great rant. It's, yeah, that's the end of the lyrics. Yeah, it's a really good, and he's really, 
he's excellent with lyrics. He's excellent with words, the play on words and the um, references and allusions and all of that sort of thing. Um, he, we know that from so many of the songs that we've already done. So once again, really, really good, really uh, pointing out some of the problems in society, problem, some of the issues in the world. Uh, seems to focus more on America here, but I think really it's everywhere. Um, you know, and, and look at some of the alternatives that still are sort of around in other countries and some of the ways they do things. It would, would you prefer that? Maybe you would. Uh, I wouldn't, but maybe you would. Um, so that's the problem. Uh, are we living in a system that has issues? Absolutely. Uh, is there another one that's better that we know of right now? I don't think so. But I hope that there is one. <laughs> I hope that we can find one. And maybe that's all that Ren is trying to get across. He's just trying to push out all this information about the problems and, and, and things that aren't going right and could be better for sure. Uh, all right, I'll stop there because I already talked too long probably. Really loved it. I love Ren. Uh, Crucify Your Culture. Great song few issues maybe with the lyrics only because I don't want people to uh, go down the other rabbit hole of conspiracy and thinking that just trashing everything that already exists and that everyone who makes a dollar is evil because uh, I don't think that is the way to go. I think that the way that we build is to create not destroy but that's that's just me. All right uh, there we go. It's Ron from RJJ's Reactions. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you did. You probably don't now after my rant, but <laughs> uh, oh well. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to hear, either from Ren or anyone else. Bye-bye for now.